Hi and welcome to uh, another unboxing video. This one is an NGC World Submission, um, Old World Submission. Well, mostly Old World Submission. We'll uh, we'll jump right into it and take a look at it. Um, mixed results. It it starts out, yeah, and uh, as far as results go, and uh, really um, ends really well. So let's just take a look at it. Um, I think we got one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about ten points. So, um, the first one, um, the first one I took a shot at, um, I bought this on a, actually on a Facebook group, uh, bidding, and, um, I just really liked it. Thought it was a really cool, real early. So it's Spanish Netherlands 1638 one pat. Um, but it got AU details, obverse spot removed, and in the right light, it's right there. You can see it. And that's what they're talking about. I'm a little bit disappointed, but uh, still a, a neat, really cool coin. Um, I like it. Just, um, just unfortunate. All right, the next one I knew was going to get this. Um, I'd seen uh, NGC. I actually thought they'd give it a numer uh, numerical grade and note the chop marks, but apparently they just give it a details grade. Um, maybe it was PCGS that I was thinking gives it a uh, numerical grade and notes chop marks, or maybe now the company does that anymore. Either way, this is 1872 over one Mexico City Mexican peso. Got a VF details chop marks, which is quite obvious, so I wasn't surprised at that. But um, yeah, these early, Me early Mexican pesos are, are pretty cool, and uh, I'm a big fan. So I'm just happy to get it holded. Um, I, I mean, I don't think I don't think this hurts it that much because. It was quite obvious that it had been chop mocked, so, um, yeah, there's that. Another one of my Mexican, uh, some people might say, well, why are you grading that? It's kind of just a VF-25, but, uh, it's because it's a ZSJA, not off the top of my head, I can think of where they are, but, uh, you know, Mexican, Mexico City, I'd never grade a Mexico City one um, in a VF-25 because they're pretty common, but uh, you get uh, these other mints, and um, they're really tough, really tough to get. So this was an 1875 8 Real from Mexico. Just a VF-25, but a rarer mint. So at least you got a straight grade. Unlike... This one, which, you know, it has a rim ding. We'll take a look at that in a second on the reverse, but I didn't think they'd call it out. This thing is, again, not a Mexico City mint. It's a tougher mint, so and in phenomenal condition. It's got just beautiful luster. Obviously, they recognized it as long details. And I didn't think they'd really call out this rim dent. It's just a obviously got hit by another coin you see it right there um, they're usually pretty easy going uh, on the Mexico coins because the planchets were flawed and just you know things like that um, and especially seeing how it was on the reverse really doesn't track from the coin it's not super major looks a little worse in the video than it really does in in hand um, but yeah, nice, uh, nice coin, just an unfortunate grade, uh, I knew the rim didn't was there, but I didn't think they called it out. Um, this one was kind of a, a miss, um, I had, uh, I had a couple of these and I looked it over and this was the nicest, uh, looking one, um, and I was aiming for a 65 or better and, uh, hit a 64, although, <laughs> I sent in a Dominican Republic and a Cuban one, and uh, well, this one would be considered a home run. 
<laughs> but a nice crown size Dominican Republic peso. 1952. Uh, this one, um, I was hoping for Anka details. I knew it had been wiped. Um, it was quite obvious, but uh, I was hoping for Anka details. Instead, I got AU details, so missed the mark a little on that. It's kind of a filler, but uh, I'm a sucker for these British coins and uh, Queen Victoria, Jubilee head. Half crown. I don't know. Probably shouldn't have sent it, but I did. This one, I think they're full of it. It says unk details, obverse cleaned, but man, you twirl that thing around, you get a cartwheel going. And I had several of these, and this was the nicest one. Maybe it was the nicest one because it had been cleaned, but uh, I don't think so. It had the least amount of marks, had a phenomenal cartwheel going. I mean, the lighting I have in here is hard to get a cartwheel going, but you can see that. I mean, there's no striations, there's no, I don't know. I really don't. Um, yeah, and I wouldn't have cared about the Dominican Republic one, but I, I really wanted the Cuban one to come back nice and high. I can't believe I got an obverse, details obverse cleaned. Did not see that coming. Oh well. And my little fat man dime. China, 1914. Usually you see fat man on a dollar, but he's on a 20 cent piece. I don't know if he's on a 50 cent piece and then he's on a dime. So... This is actually kind of uh, semi-valuable, even if it's only a VF30. Uh, you don't see them very often, and they're uh, highly desirable. So I wanted to get it uh, certified, mostly because these are so uh, so faked. So yeah, I was pretty happy with this. I knew it had been circulated, obviously. So a VF30 is a respectable grade. Very happy with this. My Chinese junk doll from 1934. That was on the holder. Um, yeah, so an MS61 junk. It's probably between a two, three hundred dollar coin now. Again, these are uh, these are faked a lot, so to get it in a holder is really essential and then to get an MS grade very happy with that one very happy this next one's a really interesting one a lot of history um, it's am I not a man Him and a man and a brother. So it's like a, um, it's the British equivalent. This came first um, of uh, anti slavery. So this is a Condor token from Britain from the 1790s. Um, it got an MS65 brown. There's only three graded in this grade with only one higher. Um, there's an American version that is a uh, um, hard times token with that copied the same design and same am I not a man and a brother. And I think there's another one that says am I not a sister and a daughter. Um, those are extremely valuable. This this has a lot of value, don't get me wrong. This, this is a valuable piece. Um, but the American version, the hard times token, is, uh, is even more desirable. But uh, phenomenal grade on this MS65 Brown. Like I said, there's only uh, only three graded in this grade with only one higher. So it's a really cool design, really high, uh, really high grade. And again, 
um, was it? <clears throat> so anti-slavery from the 1790s in Great Britain, whereas Oz came in the what 1830s for the Hard Times tokens. So that's it. That wraps it up. That's it for my world submission. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you would. Really uh, trying to get my uh, my uh, membership up. So um, you'd be doing me a big favor. I'll have uh, some more videos coming out soon. Um, I'm going to try to do a, a crossover video with uh, Annex to NGC. Um, and see how uh, Annex stacks up when I... Uh, Crack them out and send them to NGC. I've gotten some nice uh, results from Annex, and I'd like to get them a new one NGC holder. So that's coming up. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.